Mabuhai, this is Bob from Love Beyond the Sea. You might have been thinking about this just like I was recently. Can you tell me what do Kenny Chesney and Big Ed of 90 Day Fiance fame have in common? Have you ever thought that? I was just thinking that the other day because I've heard Kenny Chesney say, or at least I've read him say um, after one marriage didn't work that he just he didn't know how to be married he didn't know how to be in a relationship and then just the other day I read Big Ed of 90 Day Fiance fame say the same thing and so my initial reaction was you know why is it so hard to have a relationship and so I want to talk about that today here on Love Beyond the Sea so be prepared to leave a comment about it could just be one word or two words Things that, you know, help you to have a relationship. I married a woman from the Philippines in 2015. So in May, we're coming up on eight years already. Really hard to believe. So I've had to learn some things about having a relationship, especially with a woman from the other side of the world that, you know, we knew each other for only 54 days before we got married. So I've got some things to share and I won't hit them all because I won't think of everything and I'm, I'm kind of short for time with this, but it, it is hard. You've got a 50% divorce rate here in America. I know other countries it's worse and some states in America are worse than others. And so that would lead you to think that there were some problems there having a relationship, 50%. Now, if you don't count people that are married, but people that are in relationships that could lead to marriage, I'm told that the, the uh, percentage of breakup is even higher than 50%, probably closer to you know 70%. So clearly, when I read that quote from Kenny Chesney and, and Big Ed, you know, I thought, well, you know, there is, there's something to that. And so here are some things that I think will help with a dating relationship or marital relationship like we usually think of but you know as you'll see these qualities can help in a relationship and this is especially important to me um well older guys can learn from mistakes like if they did the opposite of these things i'm going to list and they can learn from that and see what the consequences were and change and grow and be better for the next relationship but younger people aren't even getting into relationships like they used to and, um, and so it's going to be even harder for them to be able to commit to somebody, you know, and have a relationship. And people spend a lot of time online and not, you know, one-on-one -on -one together, which is a bad thing, I think. So how to have a relationship? Well, let's start with these. Just be friendly. Be considerate. Stable. You could insert the word reliable be consistent consistent person someone that this other person in a relationship can count on another thing this is a big thing to have a relationship is to be selfless that's the opposite of being selfish because the relationship is now two two people involved to some extent and then there come expectations in a relationship, and that should be covered here, you know, you, if you're not friendly or considerate, you know, it's going to be hard to have a relationship. So be selfless, patient. That's a huge one. Patient. It's one thing that I've never forgot when our one of our marriage sponsors said, be patient, be patient with your wife. Another one, not arrogant. Nobody wants to have a relationship with an arrogant person. Be realistic. You can't have a, re a relationship if we're not realistic and we have expectations that, that are not possible. Learn to give. You wanna be in a relationship? How to have a relationship? Be a giver, not just be a taker. Learn to give, helps to be generous. Also be a good listener. You can't be part of a good relationship if you're not going to be a good listener 
be open. You know, when you're talking about yourself, don't, you know, have things that you, if you're really too afraid to talk about some things, let's say in a marriage situation or before you get married, then you probably should get some kind of counseling for that so that you can be open about your past and everything with, you know, your wife from the Philippines or wherever. And just, you know, while you want to be a good listener, work on communication skills. You know, ask questions if you don't understand. You don't don't put the other person down. Um, relationships are not a competition; it's a cooperation. You know, have a good temperament. Don't have a you know lousy you know doom and gloom disposition. Don't have a bad temper. That helps. It's it sounds simple, but it's part of having a relationship. And then I mentioned cooperative, not combative. Be a team player. It's a relationship. You you have, you know, you're still unique individuals, but you have to operate as a team. So be a team player, which ties into my next one I jotted down. Be supportive. You're going to be in a relationship. Be supportive as they start opening up to you and sharing things with you. You know, they'll, they'll need a shoulder to cry on or whatever it might be, but be supportive and be willing to learn about the other person, which means you're showing an interest in the other person. Now, I threw those down there pretty quick. If you have another quality uh, to help with having a relationship, something you would want to tell a young person, you know, 16, 18 years old, and you don't want them to grow up like many are, not even knowing that <laughs> marriage is a thing that, that people used to do, um, what would you tell them? How to have a relationship? If you really could tell them one or two things, what would it be? There's my list. Also, bonus here, don't be too in love with yourself because it's a relationship now and you kind of have to lose a lot of yourself in that relationship, I think, to have it really fit together well. The Bible says, love your neighbor as yourself. We already do love ourselves. I hate it when I see these videos. Love yourself, love yourself, learn to love yourself. I'm learning to love myself. Boy, that scares me. We already love ourselves. We're commanded to love others. And that's the thing that we'll need to take into a relationship, especially marriage. Be willing to sacrifice and as men I think be willing to to make difficult decisions be the one that gets input from your your wife of course that's only smart that's only wise but don't be afraid of making difficult decisions um, in that relationship once you're in it then there begins to be expectations you know once uh, a relationship is established, but those things there will help you involved, get involved with the relationship and even be able to get married. So uh, this should be helped to have a relationship, especially if you're looking for love beyond the sea.